bloggers, we hear the term affiliate marketing all the time. For many bloggers, affiliate marketing is a great way to create passive income. But what does it actually take to be a successful affiliate? Hi, I'm Liz Stapleton, host of the Blogger Breakthrough Summit, and welcome to the Blogger Breakthrough Podcast. In today's episode, you're going to hear tips from BC Stack creator and master affiliate marketer Dan Morris that he shared during the 2021 Blogger Breakthrough Summit. To hear more about affiliate marketing and other blogging tips, head over to bloggerbreakthrough.com forward slash podcast deal today to find out how you can listen to all the 2021 Blogger Breakthrough Summit sessions, including Dan's. Now let's dive in. So there are four parts to being the affiliate, the person who's actually selling the product. So you're going to be doing this for your own product, right? You're going to be your own affiliate. And then other people are going to be doing it for you. So, or you're going to be doing it for someone else. So you, you still need to know how, to, how this works. Uh, so the first, the, the three things that I that I think are important are honesty, authenticity, and pre-sale. Um, and these are totally different things, even though honesty and authenticity sound the same. They're totally different. Okay, so we're going to start with authentic. I'm going to put a number one here so I can write this spreadsheet or worksheet correctly. Okay, now, being authentic, if you're... This doesn't mean like being yourself or being honest or being truthful. Like those are not authentic. Um, being authentic is the practice of understanding who your audience is and then making sure that everything you do is to benefit that audience. But also everything that you do is based on you benefiting your audience for your own benefit. I'll explain what that means. You're in the running, Mitch, right? Why running? I don't know. It just came up twice. So you're in the running niche and you're going to do a big promotion. So you decide to give away $25 Amazon gift cards for anybody who will fill out the survey, right? Well, who shows up to get a $25 Amazon gift card? Everybody. I show up. If you're going to do a menopause survey for a $25 gift card, I'm going to take the menopause survey. Why? Because I want the $25 gift card. So the moment that you give away a $25 gift card to Amazon, you have blown your authenticity. It's out. It's out the window. What you have to do is you have to figure out what, if you're going to do a survey, you got to figure out, all right, what would entice only runners to take the survey, right? So maybe it's a $25 gift card to a running store, right, to newbalance.com. Newbalance.com slash running. So then, like, like, I don't want a $25 gift card to menopauseresults.com. I'm not going to fill out that survey. That is not of interest to me. So you need to make sure that your prize for filling out a survey has directly related to your audience. Because that becomes your audience, right? And your list. And those are the people that you're going to be selling other people's products to. So once it's not related to running, then all of a sudden your click-through rate goes down, your unsubscribes go down, nobody's paying attention on Facebook because you weren't authentic. You didn't create a, an environment where only runners show up so they, can, so they can talk about their questions and answers and feel safe in that environment. You haven't built that. You're no longer an authentic marketer. Okay. So now... If you're doing affiliate marketing and you have you have done this, you have been authentic, you've been only working in the running niche, you've only done things that would benefit them, you've only built lists of people who are interested in that, then you want to find running products that you can talk to your list about as an affiliate. You want to find a running book. You want to find a running movie that you can talk about. Some of them will make you money and some of them won't. You have to be to the point where, yes, I want my audience to see this movie. I don't care if I make any money. I'm going to promote it. And then you got to find other products that actually make you money. Because the second part is honesty. You have to be at all times. I am the person that you want to go to to learn about running or to learn about blogging or to learn about finance. So I'm going to tell you which movies you don't want, which movies you do need to watch, which books you do need to read, which books you don't need to read. Like, I'm going to be that person. I'm going to be honest with my audience. So with your affiliate marketing, you've got to find products that totally fit that path of honesty. 
So if you went to, if you were in the blogging world, like the blogging niche, and you saw BC Stack, and BC Stack's got 65 courses, classes, uh, memberships, all about blogging, then I would think this would be perfect for your audience because now they can learn about, I mean, all these different topics for one tiny little price, right? This would help your audience immensely because 65 different things all have to do with building a better, a better blog. And then at the same time, because your audience needs it and you can talk about it honestly, you also make money from it as the affiliate. So you have to be super honest. Now, you, if you don't think uh, like your audience needs that, then you should be able to say, I don't think you guys need this. Um, and hopefully that means the next thing that you tell them about that they do need, you're even more believable or, or they understand like, hey, the last time you saved me some money, you told me not to get that because... That was a waste of time, but now he's saying I should get this. But it must not be a waste of time because normally if it is a waste of time, he tells me not to get it. So you become that actual honest voice to your audience. Um, and then when you're actually decided, I've built this great audience and now I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell a product. If you want to make money, like you actually want to be a successful affiliate, you have to be like, I, this, this is called the pre-sell. You have to, you have to send a message that sells the product before they get to the page. So some people who were, who we, you know, we tried to teach BC Stack over the years. Some people have said, "Hey, I found this great deal. It's sixty-five products for uh, thirty-nine dollars. I think you should check it out. Click the link." Now that means that you've basically taken your audience and you've given them something that you're curious about and a link to go look at it. Now, my landing page is not designed to persuade you to buy it. It's like, okay, here's BZ Stack, here's all that's in it, uh, and here's the buy button. So if an affiliate doesn't pre-sell, like tell me exactly why I need it and all those things, then the page doesn't work. You don't make any money. So if you're going to be an affiliate, you've got to go look at the page, right? You got to go look at the page that you're sending traffic to. You have to look at all the benefits. You got hopefully you bought it or you know it or you've got information on it. You got to see what the page is missing, right? And then when you're telling about the product to your audience, you have to tell them everything. Here is who it's for. Here's who it's not for. Here's how long it will take to do it. Here's what you will learn. Here's why I think you should get it. Here's why I think you shouldn't get it. If you're you know, if you're XYZ, I don't think you need this because, um, like all those things, it should be, you should totally be able to sell you, the product because you get it. You know who it's for, you know who it's not for, you know the benefits. If it's something that comes in the mail, you know how it arrives, you know how long it takes. <clears throat> if it's a course, you know how long it will take them to get to the meat of the course, how long it will take them to get the benefit of the course. Like you put that all in your message. Then you say, if this sounds like you, if this is exactly what you need, then click and go buy, right? Then they go to the landing page and they don't have to, they're already pre-sold. They don't have to depend upon, you don't have to depend upon somebody else's landing page to make the sale. I uh, hope that makes sense. Okay, hopefully this episode has given you a clearer picture of what you can do to succeed at affiliate marketing. Join me next time to learn how improving your bookkeeping system can impact your business. I'll catch you then. Mm -hmm.